Maybe we should ask if we can buy his shard. Uh, he's going to say, what do I need money for? Right? Hmm. That's true. So I assume. I I guess we have to give him the shards, but I don't want to exactly. Mm, I'd go with five, actually. Where did you get yours, yeah, then? where did he? Well, now, I'm sure it would make for a fascinating tale, except that I don't remember. That would be a flaw in the tale. Yeah. Um. Uh, just tell two. me about the shards? Oh. You've been spending all this time today? Okay, sure. I've had no reason to remember, but I suppose I should try now that you've asked me. Someone had to have given it to me, right? Hmm. Probably. I remember a well-dressed man, perhaps nobility, though I'd never ask such a personal question. Go on. Uh-huh. He gave me this shard, asked me to study it, and report my findings. Now that I think about it, he's never returned for an answer. Not that I've had one to give him. And I never did catch his name, so I wouldn't be able to find him either. Irrelevant, since, like I said, I haven't been able to glean any useful information from my single shard. So it turns out the tale wasn't nearly as fascinating as I hoped. A pity. Back to my original question, then. Would you like me to run some tests on your shards? That well, is what we came all the way for to do, so... Kinda. Yeah, too. Like, hey, do All give right. him back, though, because he might forget. <laughs> we we kind of want them. Ah, thank you. I'll be right back with this. Wouldn't it be these? Simple grammar. Spelling. My tests are complete. With another shard to use as a comparison, but I learned quite a bit. Quite a lot, actually. It appears these shards contain latent magical energy, either caused by a strong enchantment from when they were whole, or from their method of destruction. Furthermore, the shards resonate when they are brought together, increasing their magical energy output accordingly. These shards are pieces of a broken Githyanki silver sword. Are you familiar with the Githyanki? They're it's... trying to kill us. <laughs> Give me the short version. <laughs> um, I'd go to one. Alrighty. I'd go with three. <laughs> are a race of beings that dwell on the astral plane, led by Vlakith, the Lich Queen. Not a nice woman, I hear. Ages ago, the ancestors of the Githyanki were human and inhabited another plane of existence, where they were enslaved by the Illithids, or Mind Flayers. Then came Gith. Little is known about her outside the Githyanki, but she led the rebellion to free her people of the Illithids and is considered the hero and founder of the Githyanki people. The Githyanki silver swords are forged with the special purpose of severing the silver cord that connects the form of an astrally projecting traveler to his or her material counterpart. They look like a regular Githyanki weapon until used in combat, at which point they turn into a column of flowing, shimmering liquid. Really quite amazing, I'm told. I believe the shards that you have found are pieces of one of these silver swords. I presume the Githyanki have come to Faerun to recover the shards. Hmm? What? What now? What was that? Kind of crazy. I like how it just goes two. nuts. Yeah, two. Yeah. Common Githyanki would not possess a silver sword. These swords are rare and highly prized. They are given by the Lich Queen to only the greatest of Githyanki knights. When one of their silver swords falls into the hands of a non-Githyanki, they will go to extraordinary lengths to recover it. Oh, that's why they're so pissy with us. Yup, that would be why. Four. Yeah. Obviously, you'd first need more of the shards, wouldn't you? Between us, we have perhaps enough metal for a hairpin. And once enough had been gathered, well, I really don't know what the next step would be. A large hammer and hot coals, perhaps? I'm really not much of a blacksmith. So we Maybe, only have enough uh, for a hairpin? Really? I thought the, these <laughs> chunks were bigger. Yeah. And not too. like these tiny, tiny things. Maybe the overall sword isn't that big. <laughs> it must be a miniature or something. Then. <laughs> <laughs> or this is going to be a 300 hour game. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it can be, but hopefully not. <laughs> um, go with. Four. We already set two, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, we did. Yeah. It's just repeating. So, four. Alrighty. I wish I knew more. Armin Jero was the real no. expert. 
He Guess who we have to find now? Sword. So, who's he? Amon Jero? Oh, he was a court wizard of Neverwinter decades ago. I met him a few times. He was a nice fellow. A little absent-minded, with a tendency to drift off this subject. Amon Jero reminded me of my old mentor, Master Growler. Had the largest collection of noisy, exotic birds. Made quite a racket. You know, chirping and squawking. Where can I find him? Yep. Well, he's dead now. So I'm not sure finding him will help you much. <sighs> when word of Amon's death reached me, it was from a messenger who had heard it in passing. The nobles who ruled Neverwinter at the time must have assumed I would simply know if another scholar passed away, for they had not mentioned it to me. It was almost an afterthought. I learned later that it was partly due to what Amon's family wanted and what had been requested by the deceased to enter life quietly and to leave it the same way. It is sad in this age when the passing of a humble scholar, an indistinct court wizard, barely warrants a footnote in history. It makes me wonder, will anyone remember me when I'm gone? No. Uh, well, where was he buried? <laughs> Maybe he's got enough necromancers. I'd around, go with I'm three. Sure get some yeah, just say three. So just to the point now. <laughs> I'm kind of ah, bored by this. The Jero family was purported to have moved far away from Neverwinter following the war and Amon Jero's passing. Save the ramp. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. it, actually, really, three. Very well. No one knows where Jero's family is, but the archives here in Black Lake may have clues to the location of Jero's sanctuary. Is Finally. There, there may be something there that can help you. Ask the guards at the archives to speak directly with archives I get administrator it. Yes. Kotnik. He has been known to let me in, quietly, on occasion. Bye. Yeah, thanks. Very well. Thank you for your visit, and for letting me chat with you. Quite enlightening, really. Oh, Fuck and before off. I forget, ah. you may take my shard. I've no use for it any longer. And who knows, you may gather more. Do be careful, though. I plan to raise my wards again after you have left to keep out those young nobles skulking about. Hope we haven't talked too long. Otherwise, they may have gathered their courage and attempted to sneak in. Yay, we're done. <laughs> well, that does seem like a good place to leave it. It does. And I think... Depending yeah. where we show up now, I guess. <laughs> and I think uh, Alira is just about to, uh, I don't know, go murder a cat or something. Or a kitten, even. I don't <laughs> hurt animals. You're about to murder something. No. A baby. Maybe. Uh, you were in there for a while, but no worries. I found a stout branch and whittled a carving for Harmony, my fiance. Why the? Uh, something cool is going to happen to this man now that we know this about him. <laughs> yeah, he's just a random watchman escort, and it's just like, yep. Why did you get that backstory? Yeah. What? 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 All right. Thank you. Uh, the archives? Well, my orders were to take you straight to Aldenhans and back out again. Diplomacy. Yeah. I suppose it'd be alright. Just a short trip, after all. Uh, I'm not one for books, though. I'll wait outside once we get there. Come with me. And you'll be murdered by the time we get back out, because now we know you have a fiancé, and yep. it'll be sad. And we'll get a really lengthy cutscene here, and dialogue, and Alira will go on a killing spree. <laughs> so she will we be the one murdering him, spree. evidently. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'd be the twist. You see, people, we get really involved in our LP. <laughs> <laughs> well, she does. <laughs> Okay, good. We can say, don't run forward! Don't run forward! <laughs> she she does, though. She's person. nuts. <laughs> I would don't want to trigger that cutscene that will make you kill people. <laughs> <laughs> she does, apparently. She's not even saying no. <laughs> okay. Are we leaving it? <laughs> We've saved. Oh, you We're want not. to play on, then? <laughs> I'm going to take the silence as a no. Ugh, export character. Yep, she's really dumb. 
All right, so I guess next time we'll go through more Black Lake. Finally. Archives, yay. She sounds really interested. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm throwing down an extra save, a second save, just because that one getting roughed at that one time kind of pissed me off. Yeah, indeed. Okay, see you guys next set. Yeah. Until hope. then, may the forces of nature be with you. I hope you guys enjoyed Suckers. that. <laughs> see you, dudes. And she's really rude.